Hi everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and I have today an unboxing from Distracted by Diamonds, who are the makers of Patty Wax. They have a shop on Etsy. Um, they sell, if you don't know about them, they sell diamond painting wax and diamond paintings, and cover minders and drills and stuff like that. So this is an oldie but a goodie, and I just thought I would share it with you guys as I opened it, just because I like to share everything with you. Uh, I have been looking at this and wanting this for the longest time, and I never pulled the trigger on it, uh, and it was on sale, 20% off. So I thought, what better time than now to get it and get it at a deal? So you probably, if you watch their site, you probably maybe know what I got. I got uh, The Soul of the Rose by William Waterhouse. And this is an Old Masters uh, diamond painting. It was painted in, I believe, the early 1900s. I'm not certain about that. Um, but let's get right into it. I don't remember if it's round or square. I hope it's round, but I suspect it's square. So let's get into it and see what we've got. Now, I'm not sure because this is an older of their kits. I don't know if they do still have everything in there. Yep, they do still have it the new way. Okay. So Distracted by Diamonds recently changed their toolkit that they send you. Um, you now get your uh, pen with a multi-placer on the end. I think it's like a six-placer. Um, a five-container little strip. A plate of heart-shaped wax, some Distracted by Diamonds branded washi tape, which I think is really cute, and it works really well. I've, I tried it, and it works really, really well. And you get this nice branded Distracted by Diamonds heart-shaped tray with a cover. So this is the second one of these that I've gotten, and I really like it. So uh, they've changed their toolkit a little, and, and I like it. All right, let's get into the diamond painting and see what it looks like. I'm excited for this one. I don't know, um, I know there was an event this past summer, Summer with the Masters, and I don't know if they plan on doing that again next year. I don't know if I, I might hang on to this one and save it for that event if, if the potential is there that they're gonna have it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can wait that long. So, yep, 1908 is when this was painted by the original artist, and it's pretty wound up, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the drills out and fold it backwards, or roll it backwards, um, so we can get it to lie flat. Just bear with me for a second, and this is pretty large, I am thinking. I'll tell you the exact dimensions in a moment. Distracted by Diamonds uses a um, canvas similar to, I would say, like mystical diamond art. It's a, it's not a soft canvas, um, like it's not plush soft, but it's very pliable, and it's like a, I don't know what the what kind of material it is. I don't want to say and be wrong, so I just won't say anything at all. All right. Oh my, she is much larger than I thought she was. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, she's beautiful though. Yes, and it is a square. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. This would be a stunning piece um, to hang in your house. It really would. It is just beautiful. I wonder if my mother-in-law would like this. So... Um, they do send now a piece of release paper, but this release paper, be careful because it's only one sided. You can tell when you feel it, only one side has the coating. So you got to be careful with that if you use that. They also send you a sticker sheet that has the, uh, DMCs and the codes for your drill containers. But they make these, if I had one recommendation, and I think I've said this before with Distracted by Diamonds, if they would take this list and just make it two rows wide, because they've got plenty of blank space here on this sticker sheet, and made these a little bit bigger because they're so teeny weeny beanie. I mean, you can see how teeny that is compared to the regular 
uh, script that's over there to the right. Um, it's just so tiny that it's hard to read. And I mean, it works. I'd rather have a sticker than not have a sticker because they do use a lot of symbols in their diamond paintings for their legend. And uh, I am not so good at drawing those myself if I have to make my own labels. So I do appreciate having the stickers. I just wish, you know, I've got old ass eyes and I wish they were just a little bit bigger. And I'm sure there's probably some, if I had any amount of technological knowledge, I'm sure there's something I could do to, you know, make these bigger and stick it through my Zyron sticker maker and all of that happy stuff. But, you know, you guys all know that I'm not that technologically advanced. I'm lucky I can do figure out YouTube half the time. So this bad boy has 55 colors. I think that from Distracted by Diamonds, this is the first canvas I've had from them that has that amount of colors and I'm happy that it does just because of the subject matter and with it being a person uh, and I think that Distracted by Diamonds I really like Ian de Jesus um, her artwork and she has female humans in her artwork and I think they do a beautiful job of charting them and I think that they've done a great job of charting this human form also. <laughs> uh, it, it just it really looks like it's rendered well. And I think it's going to, with 55 colors, you're going to have enough variations in color tone that you're going to see the highlights and lowlights and the shadows, and it's going to look great. So I'm really happy with this. It was a little bit smunched. I'm gonna have to lay it under something to get it to lie flat when I wanna work on it, but that's no big deal. It'll work itself out. These, this canvas really flattens itself out pretty nicely. So 55 colors, square drills. Let's take a look at them. I really wanna, I say this about everything, don't I? I really wanna work on this. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm not sure, but I almost want to say that they use the same symbols for the same DMC in all of their paintings. Because I know the heart is 310 in another painting of theirs that I have. So I'm not sure about this. So don't quote me. So we've got two big packs of drills. Their drills are pre-bagged and have both the sequential number and the DMC on the package. So that's nice. So let's get into them and see what they look like. Alrighty. We are going to have a ton of 310. So we've got three really big bags of 310. And let's see what, it, what they look like. I mean, they look good from here. They, you know, it's hard to tell. I've never had a problem with Distracted by Diamonds drills. They've always been good, decent drills. Uh, and I don't see any problems presenting themselves immediately as I look into the bag. But you never really know until you put the drills on the canvas, though, do you? So it's hard to say. I mean, I can say that the drills look good. Then this goes for any of my unboxings and unbaggings. You can say the drills look good, and they might through the package, but, you know, you never really know for sure until the drills hit the hit the canvas. But, like I said, I've never had, I've only had good luck with Distracted by Diamonds drills. So we've got some 3371 Dark Brown, 831 Mustard. And one thing I do like about Distracted by Diamond, and I don't know if this is true for all of their diamond paintings, but it is for at least the ones I've gotten. They don't use ABs, and I appreciate that. I I don't care. You guys know I, I don't love ABs. So we've got gray, yellow, 814, my favorite, DMC, 167 beige, 936 green, 892, that's a beautiful salmon color, an orangish red, burgundy, pale pale pink, a dark country blue, an orange, 
brown flesh color her flesh anyway not everyone's flesh gray gray pink blue 154 you guys know what color that is it's like purplish burgundy and a couple of brick colors 55 is a lot of colors dark brown dark green a lot of this dark green 934 799 gray 3799 gray my my bad uh, pinkish red lime green beige and yellow green and then in this smaller pack it looks like we have all the fun colors or more fun I should say so we've got this beautiful orange 720 that's so pretty I love that orange I love 720 oranges are my favorite orange I think gray blush lime green light orange couple browns deep red pink peach pink baby blue light gray light green lush gray and 823 dark blue ah, goodness i'm dropping them oh no 3012 green 721 orange 543 peach or pale actually it's not peach it's like a pale flesh color we got that beautiful salmony color 608 cream green army green and finally a bunch of 829 brown and those are the 55 colors that come with this diamond painting i am going to test the stickiness of the canvas and i did not tell you guys the dimensions of this because it doesn't say it anywhere on the canvas or on the paperwork. Let me look at the box real quick and see what the actual... Oh, it does say it on the canvas. It's way up there in the corner. Let me just slide these off to the side and pull this baby back so I can see the top corner and tell you guys what the dimensions are. 62 by 96. So yes, she is quite long. 62 is a nice width, though. I really like that width. It's um, it's not too wide that I can't work it from my recliner on my lap desk. You know that's what my world's all about, you guys. If I can reach it from my on my recliner from my lap desk, I can dive and paint until the cows come home. Uh, it's when I have to bring big guys in here and sit at my crafting table that I really... Te that tends to slow me up when I have dimensions that I can't reach from my recliner. Um, let's test the sticky on this. I've never had a problem with their stickiness, and this is sufficiently sticky as well. This cover paper, though, does seem a little bit lighter weight than what I'm used to from them. It seems a little different. Uh, it's... I don't know it's like wrinkly I don't know how exactly to describe it but I've never quite had that kind of cover uh, plastic from them before not bad you know I'm not saying it's bad or good just making a note that it's different than what I've seen in the past so that is the soul of the rose by William Waterhouse and I love it love 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 it I think this I'm going to show it to my mother-in-law and I think it might be something that she would like so uh, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. I'll, if it's still available in their shop, I'll link it. If not, I'll just link the shop. 
Oh, I didn't tell you about the drill field. Let's take a look at the drill field and the clarity of the symbols just for argument's sake. I've never had a problem before, but you never know when you might get some blurry symbols if, you know, there was a printer malfunction or something like that. Nope, everything looks really good. I can differentiate. They've got two symbols that are kind of alike. There's a J and a music note, but you won't, and they're right next to each other, but you'll be able to easily differentiate them because the J is black and the music note is red. So that won't be a problem. So that was really nice of them. That was probably a conscious decision, I'm thinking, uh, because so you won't have a hard time differentiating them from one another. And I don't see any other problems with like symbols being too near each other, just taking a cursory look at it. I can see that there are some symbols that I'm going to have to get creative on giving names for, like the Devil's Pitchfork and the Turnaround and the Alien and the Pregnant Lady and the Turkey Leg. Does anybody else do that, give names to funny symbols? Um, I do. Because then when I'm placing drills, I'm like, turkey leg, turkey leg, turkey leg. I just wonder if anybody else does that or if I'm really weird. Well, I know I'm really weird, but <laughs> someone else might be weird too. All right, you guys, I'll let you go. Sorry for rambling on. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.